In this video, we're going to show how to show a basic display, a basic profile in Profile View, a pretty no frills, easy to configure profile. So, you should have Profile View installed and connected to your Pi server. You'll also need to have some tags configured on your Pi server that you want to display, some set of data tags. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be building a display like this. Something where we can navigate around in two dimensions and there's different colors representing different values. But right now we don't have anything. But this is what we're headed towards. So to start off with, we're going to press new for a new profile. We can double click it to maximize it. And the first place and the place you're going to go a lot is this button right here, profile properties. Now once you click on that, you get a rather intimidating number of options, but you only need a few to get a profile up and running initially. And that is these four tabs right here. The time type, interval, array, and color tabs. We're going to start with the array tab. So what we do on the array tab is we select which tags we want to actually show. So what you'll do is you'll come in here and you need to know which tags you're going to want to look for. For me, I have some tags named for a boiler right here. A whole set of tags. Once I select them and say OK, they're brought into this queue here. And then once they're there, I select them all and now I'm going to add them to the actual array that's going to be plotted. So I'm going to add it and now they're over in the array that will be plotted. You'll notice that I named them 001, 002, 003. Now, that's convenient and nice. It's not required, but it's a pretty easy way to go about um, organizing your tags because you're going to want them to be in a particular order. Now, some of you might have noticed that I added one tag right here that doesn't belong. It doesn't really fit with the other ones. So I'm going to say remove and bring it out of my array that I'm going to plot. Great. Okay, so let's just go ahead and press OK. And we see our profile. So now we have some colors. That's good. But right now it's all red, which isn't too helpful. So now if you look down here, these are the, the limits that are by default start with profile view. So 0 to 100, anything at or above 100 is going to be just, just red. And what it looks like is that all our values are above 100, which might be the case for some tags. Now. The way to test this is if you look over here on the right hand side, there's a pane and then there's a value. That value is the value of the tag at the time um, with the crosshairs. And as I click around on my profile, I'll get a whole range, an idea of the range of values. So if you still look over here on the right hand side, you can see these values, I'd say they range from somewhere around maybe 600 to 800, something like that. So now that I know what my rough range is, I'm going to click on properties again. And this time, I'm going to go to the color tab. In the color tab, you get the option to set all the limits. I'm going to say 600 for the bottom limit and 800 for the top limit. And then I'll just say 700, 730, and 760 for my other limits here. Once I say OK, I see that my profile has now changed to uh, use the different colors to show me some, some relevant data, which is really great. Uh, now I can change around those numbers and I'll get a slightly different look at how my, a uh, slightly different view of what my data looks like. And here again, you can click around and you can see the different values. And I can tell that, well, it looks like there's high values over here on the left hand side and the ones on the right hand side are quite a bit lower. The next thing you'll want to know how to configure is how much data are you going to show? How much time are you going to show over here on the right, left hand side? So again, I'm going to go back into profile properties. And this time we're going to be using the time slash type tab and the interval tab. On the time slash type tab, we get an option called the number of scans. Now the number of scans we're going to show is 50 right now. And if I were to put in five, it'll show only five rows of data. See that? One, two, three, four, five five rows of data here. But I, I liked 50. In fact, I would go so far as to put in 100. And now I have 100 rows of data. Each row gets its own set of colors. 
The other options on this page are the trigger tag time. Now what this refers to is how often your display will refresh. Right now the default is 30 seconds, so every 30 seconds this display will refresh. If I set it to 10 seconds, it'll refresh every 10 seconds. Now, you don't necessarily want it to be refreshing too, too often because every time it does that, it may be querying the server. The options down here have to do with what type of profile this is. We'll talk about real, batch, discrete, and overlays in a different video. For now, and for most basic ones, continuous, which is for real data and integers, is just fine. Interval has to do with how much time each row represents. So right now, 60 seconds. Each row represents a minute's worth of data. If I change this to five minutes, look at the times over here on the left-hand side. Right now, this goes from around one o'clock back through noon. But if I change this to five minutes, I'm still going to show 100 rows of data, but each row now represents five minutes. And I'll see that the times have changed to show all the way back to, looks like 5 a.m. I can specify where I want my time to be starting with this time search up here. I can also zoom in with the cursor here to particular parts of my profile. And I can scroll around with these buttons on top, backwards and forwards. I can also zoom in and zoom out with the navigation buttons on top. Great. So now we've created a basic profile from nothing. And all you needed to do, again, was import your tags on the Array tab, set your limits on the Color tab, and then set how much data you actually wanted to show with the time slash type and interval tabs.